Week City. Hello, I am Mix City, your favorite cat host. Today, I'm going to play a game called Urban Chick the Loops. It is a dress up game, duh, where you get to make your own doll and dress them up with cool chic fashion styles. That sounds fun and all, but I wanted to do something else with it. Something cool, something fun, something undertailish. I know, I'll create outfits inspired by characters from the oh so popular game Undertale. What? You knew that already? How? The, the title of the video? And the fact that I have already started with the first character? Oh. Excuse me a moment while I sit in the corner and feel great shame. Back from a trip to the corner of shame. So, Undertale. This character, who is referred to as Frisk, is famous for their striped shirts. But unfortunately, I could not find any striped pieces of clothing in this game. So I improvised and came up with this solution instead. The main character carries around a lot of stuff all the time, so I figured a bag would be a fun way to represent that. I also gave them a little heart to symbolize Frisk's soul, a very important plot point in the game. Next up is Sans, one of the other main characters. Sans is a skeleton, which is why I went with a super pale model to represent the clear white of his bones. Sans is a really interesting character, because at first glance he seems like just a lazy guy. But you notice quickly that he's very different compared to the other characters. Now for Sans's brother, Papyrus. Papyrus together with his brother Sans are the comical relief characters of the game and oh boy do they live up to that role, cracking jokes, being silly and always doing funny stuff. They are the best brother duo ever shown in a game, in my opinion at least. that this game had an option to add a scarf as well as gloves and blue short shorts. The mother looks amazing! Metaton! Our favorite TV host and star! I decided to go with Metaton's other look, the one he gets when you fight him. with a fringe that covers one eye. Perfect! Here I went with a dark, dark look mixed with bright pinks. It was fun to translate Metaton's fabulousness into this outfit. You will also notice that I am a huge fan of tattoos. There's simply something really special about them. They're basically like art that you carry around with you all the time. On your body. How awesome is that? Guard and the protector of her village. She's super strong and dangerous, but if you show her kindness, she becomes a loyal friend. I am really glad with how this turned out. The blue lipstick as a symbol for Undyne's blue skin was really clever, if I say 
things on myself. The only thing I am sad about here is that there was nothing I could do to cover up the model's eye. And I'm is blind on one eye after all. But the red jeans and boots and hair look really, really nice. As for the tattoos, the arrow is inspired by her famous sparrow type, and the anger shows her connection to water. Well, she is a fish monster. Time for Dr. Alphys! She's the royal scientist and really, really smart. She also likes manga and anime a lot. But the poor thing has many dark secrets, making her a very fascinating monster. The long braid would have symbolized her dinosaur tail, but I scrapped that idea. This outfit was probably the hardest one to make, because I only had a white lab coat to go by when it came to clothes. was a lucky find, and the little slippers with anchors on them is to connect her to Undyne, if you know what I mean. And now, Goat Mom! Oh, I mean Toriel. She gives you pie! I went with a very simple look, topped with a fur coat and slippers. They are fake, of course. Right? Right? an outfit inspired by Flowey. He is a super important character after all, but I won't say much about Flowey because that would be mega spoilers. Like, you know, you know, so I went with other stockings. The hair is for the petals, the green shirt and long skirt is for the stem, and the brown is for the earth and roots. the color settings for the tattoos, so I gave the model a green tattoo. Time for Asgore, the king of the underground.
was a king, I wanted to go with a style that was very regal and elegant. The long dress really does the trick. We have the purple, yellow and black going on, as well as the blonde hair, mixed with some white from his fur. Body because then I could have given her more curves. Someday, I'll play a dress up game where I can play around with the different kinds of body types as much as I want! Yay! Because we never see Caddy's lower half, I've gone completely wild with her skirt and leggings. So colorful! with the lower body. I gave them all the cat socks because it would connect the look back to Caddy. Monsters, the other characters you have seen in this video. You have to do your best to survive, but get the chance to always decide if you want to kill or spare your enemies. If you show mercy, then you will gain a lot of new wonderful friends along your journey. It is a really fantastic game where all your decisions really matter. I would highly recommend it. And if you too want to play this awesome game, then you can find the link in the description under the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe! I hope 